I love using color in crochet, and right now I'm crocheting a baby blanket for a friend that involves two colors, and if you can notice, I don't have any loose ends, and I'm actually working on this with two different yarn colors. I wanted to pop on and show you very quickly how I'm doing this so that you too can simply work changing colors without having all those loose ends. So the stitch I'm using with this crochet hook is just a double crochet cluster of three double crochets. So I'm gonna show you here that I am come to my last stitch. I'm gonna pull that out for you so you can see. I'm gonna have one double crochet and then come to my last double crochet. And just before I finish the stitch, I am going to leave two of those loops on the hook in the new color I'm gonna bring through. So in the original color, I'm gonna finish until there's two loops. I'm going to take this original color, which is this chunky glitter yarn, and bring in my new color, which is this mauve pink acrylic. You can see from the back. It's about two rows down. And what I'm going to do is, instead of just pulling it through to my row to reach that height, I'm actually going to secretly bring it through these previous two rows by loosely slip stitching. Grab the yarn, loosely slip stitch, I'm going to do that once more and my goal is to match the stitch height of the chunky yarn. So even though those are two rows down, I just use my hook to loosely slip stitch, bring the yarn up so that it meets the height of the stitch you're working and then bring it through to close the stitch. It's a great technique. I've done it even using up to five yarn colors and I hope that you find this easy and let me know how it works for you.